We use uh, satellites to track how fresh water availability is changing uh, all over the world by keeping track of the position of the satellites. But as they orbit around the Earth, we can actually map out the places that are gaining or losing water on a, on a monthly basis. Virtually all of the major aquifers in the arid and semi-arid parts of the world are being rapidly depleted. Those areas are also getting drier uh, with climate change, so they'll have less replenishment of the aquifers. It, it's also a big problem for violent conflict. Right? Many of these uh, big aquifers cross political boundaries. So India, Pakistan, the Middle East, we're really talking about the highest rates of depletion are Turkey, Syria, Iraq, and Iran. 90% of places where violent conflict is occurring, there's water scarcity. It is a global problem, and uh, California right now is, is up there. It's probably third or fourth highest um, uh, in the world. As our reservoirs are drained, which they will be over the course of the year, assuming that it doesn't, doesn't rain much, um, then we'll be relying almost 100% on groundwater. My expectation is that we are going to see tremendous groundwater losses this year. Uh, with groundwater depletion comes an increase in the frequency um, of smaller earthquakes, and that seems to be following the, uh, the pattern of groundwater pumping. Other things that are, that are happening with the groundwater depletion is actually depletion of the streams. So uh, we see that our streams are, are, are drying up. We see that, of course, we see that all over Southern California. But the subsidence, the sinking of the land surface is another, is another big problem. It's not unlike uh, letting the air out of a, of a bicycle tire. You let the air out, right, the tire deflates. Pull the water out of the ground, the ground deflates. And that's happening in big swaths of the, of the San Joaquin uh, Valley, in some places um, at rates that are as great uh, as a foot per year. What we'll see is a tremendous drop in the water table, more and more and more wells running dry. Only the uh, bigger farms and wealthier farmers uh, being able to afford to dig the deeper wells and to pay the greater energy cost to, to pump the water up from, from greater depths. Uh, so I think we'll be seeing a society very rapidly uh, forming of, of haves and, and have-nots.